Thank you. We're old friends. <laughs> How you guys doing? Doing good? You guys drinking? Yeah. Are we drinking in here? No? Yeah. Nobody's drinking. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Not a fan. That's okay. I like drinking. I don't like. I don't, I don't seem to like drinking nearly as much as my friends do, though. Anyone else have that problem? Like, we have different priorities entirely. When I go out drinking, I'm just trying to loosen up, have a little fun. You know? When my friends are drinking, they are trying to push the boundaries of the human body <laughs> and spit in the face of death. It's a much different experience. <laughs> it's crazy. They'll hand me a drink like, "Here, try this." That'll put some hair on your chest. <laughs> Ew. What a horrible smell <laughs> for a drink. They'd have so much better luck if they were like, here, try this. That'll shave your legs and wax your eyebrows. That's a girly-ass <laughs> drink right there. <laughs> They'll love it. <laughs> I like those girly drinks. Same thing when I go to like a coffee shop. I just get to the front and I'm like, oh, yes, I will have a... Uh, I don't know, whatever the white girls are getting this week, you tell me about it, it's, it's in season. Uh, I, don't care what it's, I don't care what it's called, was that Pink Mary, double shot of estrogen? Yes, yeah, send them my way. That's me. That's all me. That's good. Recently saw one of those anti-drug campaign commercials they used to air when I was a kid. You guys remember those? They were horrible commercials. They were not effective at all. Every time I was like, don't smoke weed or you'll melt into your couch after a hard day of school, or perhaps your dog will speak. <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they were taunting you to try it. <laughs> this commercial didn't stop my brother and his friends from smoking pot, it just gave them new goals for the next time they got high. <laughs> That's all that happened. Just got them sitting around like, all right, fellas, let's just keep on cheaping until we share DNA with this sofa. <laughs> Or until that pit bull tells us to get our shit back together. Let's go for it, guys. <laughs> got, got some new ambitions. I think that's why it took so long for me to try smoking. They were just like so much more effective than those anti-drug campaign commercials. <laughs> but their commercial would have started with one stoner showing up to my house with a box full of shitty fireworks. And then my brother suggesting that they pour all the black powder from each one of those into a bowl. <laughs> so they could take all that. One really good firework. <laughs> so we came here to party. <laughs> and they do, they get all this black powder into a bowl, and then they all decide to take a smoke break. Because God forbid any of us are sober while we're building a fucking bomb. <laughs> <laughs> so they do, they, they, they get real high, they get so baked, they completely forgot about the project they had started before, and they just left it there, just sat on my table for like, a, for like two days. They just sat in my house, this bowl filled with black powder, until a friend of mine came over smoking a cigarette. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Oh no. In fairness to him, that bowl filled with black powder looked an awful lot like an ashtray. <laughs> yeah. Mainly because it was an ashtray. That was where they put the black powder. <laughs> it's like this poorly crafted Wiley Coyote booby trap they just sat there and left it. <laughs> this poor kid finished his cigarette. Plunged it right into a bowl filled with black powder. And before he had any time to register pain, <laughs> he was just so fucking confused. <laughs> he, had, he, was not, he was not part of the Black Powder Gang from a day ago. He has no idea why his cigarette just turned into the Hindenburg. This is <laughs> quite unusual for him. And he was, he was in shock. I was too. My brother had to come into the room, calm him down, ice him up, and smoke him out. That was his plan. It was like a Rastafarian convent. It was incredible. It was, it was a real buffalo soldier. Yeah, for a long time I looked at this as a good reason not to smoke. You know, clearly bad things can happen. That was uh, until I heard my brother's defense of this story, which is that the responsibility of leaving that black powder on the table, that's on him and his friends. That's their fault. They're 
And if anything, weed is the hero and helped his friend feel better after he got hurt. That's, that's a good thing. Plus, the kid ended up getting so high, our cat convinced him to go back to community college. So, <laughs>